Derby started off that period like uh, they were the team that had the tough night and needed a few extra hours sleep. Down 4-1 and uh, three of the goals were gimmies in my opinion uh, before uh, getting out of the period just down by one. Meanwhile, at the other end of the arena, New Westminster's rookie Alexis Bouquet was having a much better time of it. He seemed to be a little bit more solid in goal and a little bit truer to his lines than uh, Richards at the other end. However, no goalie in the WLA is that good that they're going to keep the Burnaby Lakers off the score sheet forever. Not even Bouquet. The game really just came down to simple ball handling, passing and catching. And the Lakers, well, they just didn't seem to have it in this game. But in the end, it was uh, just a bridge too far for Burnaby. First star was one of the good guys in the game, Cliff Smith from the New West Salmon Bellies. Well, I think, uh, I don't know, it was a lucky night, that's for sure, so that doesn't happen very often, so when it does, I guess you gotta take advantage of it and go to the casino or something like that, so. We'll see. Maybe you're my good luck charm. I don't know. Burnaby's star was Dane Stevens, a GQ guy in a blue-collar sport, good-looking and co-owner of Cavalier Jewelers in Gastown. High praise, man. Yeah, I love yeah. coming out with the guys, and uh, that's the funnest part. So hopefully get them a couple more wins. Like you're in a bit of a funk. Then. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we, we got to work out of it as a team and hopefully come more prepared, more prepared next game.